Nintendo has a new take on the tablet. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. Nintendo announced that it will drop the price of the Wii U Deluxe set by $50. Starting September 20th, the Deluxe system will cost $300, and it'll also be offered as a bundle with the game Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. But that's not the biggest Nintendo news. The company also revealed a brand new portable game system, the Nintendo 2DS. It's $40 cheaper than the 3DS, and as you can tell by the name, it doesn't have a 3D screen. It also doesn't have a hinge to close. It's just two screens on a square block like a tablet. The design quickly garnered plenty of mocking online considering it's not pocket friendly like the 3DS. But Nintendo is not getting rid of the 3DS. This is supposed to be a cheaper option for those that don't care to play games in 3D. But is the sacrifice of a larger device worth saving $40? You could have always turned off the 3D on the 3DS. And without a clamshell design, you better buy a $13 pouch case to protect those screens. The 2DS arrives October 12th in red and blue. And the Wii U isn't the only gadget with a price cut. Google's Nexus 4 smartphone is $100 cheaper. The unlocked phone now starts at $200 for the 8 gig model in the Google Play Store. Nexus is a hot phone because it is the pure goodness of Android without being tainted by any extra software. It's a good phone, but the downsides are that it doesn't have a micro SD card slot to expand the storage and it doesn't tap into 4G LTE speeds. And that may change with the new Nexus model later this year. The Kindle has new competition from Kobo. The Kobo Aura is a new 6-inch e-ink reader that's selling at the high price of $150. But that cost comes with new technology. It reduces the need for flash refreshes, which clears the screen of ghosting marks. There are also new Kobo Color tablets coming later in the year with good specs at reasonable prices. At the high end is the Kobo Arc 10 HD. It's $400. The smaller Arc 7 HD is $200. And if you you don't care about high def screens, the ARC 7 is just $150. Kobo isn't a big player in the US, but it does well overseas. A new Angry Birds game is on the way. Game maker Rovio posted a YouTube video teasing a new kart racing game called Angry Birds Go. There wasn't real game footage shared, just grown adults in bird costumes driving go-karts. So it could be similar to a game like Mario Kart. Look out for more details soon. That's your tech news update. For more on these stories, head to CNET.com update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.